Well, hi everybody. I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama, and we are about to learn a thing <laughs> about ventilation and cooling your chicken coop. So we are doing some upgrades. We've got some ideas as it approaches summer here in South Texas. Although I'm freezing out here right now. It's barely 60 degrees. Right, Lice? And so we want to show you a whole bunch of things that we are doing and I'll warn you right now, this video is going to be quite a few steps because we're going to show you something that we are building. That's a multi-step. If I remember, it's five different parts that's going to help with, hey, 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 that's going to help with keeping this coop cool. So here's the situation. We've got, this is the Omaha, is the model name, the Omaha Chicken Coop Kit from Rugged Ranch. This is a black asphalt-like roof. That is a blue. Hi, Bluebird going to bed and our chickens obviously are going to be roosting up here at night so we've got two different problems we've got we want the coop to be nice and airy and not too hot for when they're coming in to lay eggs and then we want it to continue to have circulation and be cool once we have to lock all of this up and batten down the hatches at night to keep them safe from predators and as a side note I've had chickens for almost exactly three years now oh I need to throw myself a party and I have lost two birds in that time both times I blame myself you can go back and look at those videos if you so wish but one was a chicken got too hot during the night and she basically died in her sleep and the other one died when she was laying an egg in, an, in a nesting box in a South Texas August heat and it was just too hot in the coop. So we are being really proactive now before it hits summer. So I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of ideas. And the first one you're actually looking at right now. And one thing that is nice about this coop, one of my favorite things about it actually, is that it has these double doors on the second level, right? Not on the ground level down there, but on the actual indoor coop level. And these are nice open doors. And what's really amazing is they did double doors like this on all four sides of this second level. So I could literally have it like almost completely open and just basically like an awning with a roof type situation if I wanted to. Right, Lacey? Yes, do you concur? Thank you. So, <laughs> I don't know what that means. So what we're gonna do is during the day, I am totally comfortable with this being wide open and letting the breeze just go through. Now, so here's what we did. And this is the really cheap, easy hardware that we did. So, I close this that's what we've got now I mean obviously that hook is going to be hanging there perpetually it's always going to be there but it doesn't bother me it's not that big of a deal so that was the first quick easy thing that we chose to do and that's just so I can open the doors and they're not gonna like bang around all day um, you know they will stay open so that is a day solution super easy we did those little hook latches all the way around really cheap hardware took 10 minutes the chickens also have a swimming pool I have done other videos on how to keep your backyard chickens cool. That's a whole bunch of random ideas from throwing, you know, frozen vegetables to using a swimming pool like that. And I'm hoping um, that we may put the pool at least partway under this little lean to, and that way it won't get junk in it, you know, stuff blowing down from the tree and things like that. And that way they have clean water. So let's now talk about the cool thing. No pun intended, maybe a little bit. So our concern, with any coop, to be honest, whether it's a kit or you built it or whatever, and you know, other than the dangers of stepping in holes, um, you want to think about how are your chickens going to stay cool at night. Now, those of you who do not have really hot summers, you probably don't have to worry about this. And I know a lot of people, well-meaning people, are always asking, like, you know, are my chickens going to get cold in the snow? Yes and no. And I have videos about how to winterize your chicken coop. And there's a set of videos about chili chickens and all kinds of stuff. But the short answer is don't worry about your birds nearly as much when it's cold. What's happening here in that they're going to go up, right? They're going to go up to bed. And the roosts here, there are two, or excuse me, there are three roost bars that go down on the, on the lower part, like on the floor of that level like that. And then there's two more that my girls like that go long ways from window to window. So they like to sleep like basically as high up as possible, okay? And it is all part of the fascinating science that is the pecking order, which is a real thing, even as far as like who gets to sleep the highest and things like that. So with that being said, 
The problem is, is that this thing's been out in the sun all day or it's been outside all day with this black roof. The hot air has been rising and accumulating in there even if we've had the doors open, right? But now I've got the body heat of all my birds going up in there. I have to close these big doors to make them predator safe. What are we gonna do? Now, they have plenty of space, but as you can see, they are up towards the ceiling. Hi, Gracie. <laughs> Um, so we're going to use that window that you can see, that little square window. And it has hardware cloth on it and it's totally fine. But what we've got is we've got a small fan that is almost exactly that same size. Crazy. Like, seriously. Jeez. Um, and we are going to put a fan on the inside of the coop. So basically right in there. Now, I will say really, really quickly, we are going to put hardware cloth on the fan so that my little chickens, who are so adorable but sometimes not so intelligent they won't get too close to the fan when it's running at night and it goes zzz, and give them like a free haircut right lace poor lacy she's confused because the doors are open <laughs> she's like but uh, what so what we're going to do is have a fan on the opposite window on the inside and if you didn't know fans can go two different ways right and the blades are angled and so there's one way that draws the hot air and sucks air out and there's one way that sucks air from the other direction and would bring it in as hot air rises, the hottest air is going to be up top, right? So then that fan is going to be getting it out of there. At the same time, you guys have seen my little temperature gauge that wirelessly talks to my little display that I have in my kitchen. That thermometer hangs on the other side of this wall right here. So I know exactly at my girls' roosts, because they're <laughs> hot, you guys. I swear, it's like I trained them. And guess who it is? It's Grace. <laughs> You guys are so funny. The thermometer hangs right here. So it's not like down in another zone, not giving me an accurate reading. It's literally right where their heads are. So I'll know exactly how hot it is. Okay. And so then what's going to happen is that fan is going to be, hey, hooked up to a, a thermostat or a temperature control. And then that temperature control will tell the fan, hey, it's above, you know, whatever we want to say, 82 degrees, kick on. And then that fan will run as long as the temperature is above that threshold because the thermostat will tell it when to start and when to stop. Does that make sense? So irregardless of what time of day it is, if it gets above the threshold of what we think is too hot, which I'm going to say is probably going to be in the low to mid 80s, then it's going to kick on and it'll run until that temperature goes back down. Pretty cool, huh? We are going to put the specific brands and products that we used here in the video comments um, as far as the description right down here and then we're going to put it like down in the text description of the video right by the comments there will be affiliate links which basically means no extra charge to you but we will get a small cut if you end up ordering that and i only say that because we are not taking freebies from anybody we are paying full price for all of this stuff um, because we're not like working with a certain company or like hey we'll give you something for free if you use our stuff so we are picking the products that we think are best and what work for us and so we're going to have that set up and the idea is that now it's not an excuse for me to be negligent right and i'm going to talk about this in the coop door video also all of these things that we're doing are for convenience and to keep our chickens more comfortable it's not an excuse for you to be like well i set up a fan so now i don't ever have to go and check on my birds again no that's not how it works um you know you still need to be out here you still need to be monitoring here's actually my temperature gauge here um you still need to be coming out and checking on your chickens a chicken who is pale or a chicken who is panting they are in like you need to help them right now um and i will always be passionate about this and i will always help you teach this but you know i'm never going to condone you being lazy or negligent is the word that keeps coming to mind um, because the two birds that i've buried I will never forgive myself and it's because they got too hot. So during the day, there's a ton more options, right? Because you've got water, you've got shade, you've got a pool, you've got ice, you've got, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, you can make spa day. Like I said, we can have a snow cone machine, all kinds of stuff, but at night is what I'm scared of. Hey, hey, we're back. So it is a warm day in April now here in South Texas, which is perfect because it's time to test the fan. So what's happened since the last video and I'm actually gonna go around here so you can see on the inside a little bit better. You can see across. My husband has mounted the fan and it does have hardware cloth on it. Doesn't that look cool? And we are keeping the coop closed up on purpose right now. You can see there's our thermometer up there to the right. And then there's the cord that's going down to the rest of, um, it's gonna go to the thermostat and the solar controller and all that stuff. And we're letting that little thermometer that's right up here, right? We're letting that little thermometer speak to 
our little hub inside the kitchen because we want to see, even though we don't have the correct solar converter, it's only working at about half power, it's, the concept should still work. And so what we're waiting on is once it hits a certain threshold of temperature, we're trying to see how warm it is in there, and then is it gonna kick on? And in the exciting conclusion, I just wanted to show you guys the five components of the solar fan as I step in a hole. Jeez. And talk to you really briefly about the, the order of things that we've got and what each piece does. I will be doing an article on realsimplemama.com where I have all of these affiliate links and the specific brands and all that stuff. You will need to check just the power of everything to make sure, for example, you know, that your battery is going to be strong enough to, um, you know, to be able to power your fan and all of that stuff. So we have five different components for the fan build. And I will say real quick, ignore this box. That's the motor for the coupe door. So that's something else. So we've got step one is the solar panel. The solar panel obviously gets energy on any time that it's sunny outside. And it goes to step two, which is that white box that is a solar controller that basically talks between the solar panel and the 12 volt, 12 volt battery, which is this pink thing right here. And make sure that obviously the battery's not trying to get charged above 100%. And it's basically just the go-between from the solar panel to the, ba the battery. So we have step one. Step two is called a solar controller. Step three is the battery. This is a 12 volt battery. And what's nice is my solar fan, um, it, it has plenty of power as long as it's sunny to power that fan at full speed for quite a while. And actually, as we've been experimenting, we are actually going to buy another fan and the solar fan itself is less than 20 bucks. I wanna say it's $17 for that perfect little square fan. So we're actually going to have two of them in here. It has made a significant difference and it's working within five to 10 minutes of it, clicking on and turning on, the temperature lowers by at least three or four degrees in the coupe. And remember, we're talking about sort of two different things here. So you can have these doors open, but then of course the fan blowing won't be as effective because obviously it's open. So we're kind of choosing on, okay, well, if we don't need the fan to be running, then we can have the door open instead or you know one or the other. But of course at night, this is the only option you're going to be able to have because during the day, this can't be open. Does that make sense? So especially if it's on a cloudy day, I may say, you know what, never mind. I don't want the fan to run. I'm going to open the doors instead because this guy's not going to be charging if it's not sunny. But at night, we're going to have two solar fans and they'll be sucking the hot air out of the top of the coop here, which again is where my birds roost. It's going to be pulling the hottest air out as the hot air rises. So step one is the panel. Step two is the controller. Step three is the battery, which again is a 12 volt battery and it will have enough power to power both of those fans. So it will be able to power two of them. Okay, step four is this fancy looking thing over here, which is the thermostat. And we've just got it programmed to say, hey, wherever your thermometer is, and I know it looks goofy, the, we bought a, a cheaper thermostat because it didn't come in its own like waterproof case. So that's actually, we've upcycled an old like, you know, um, I don't know what it was, a C or D battery package and it's in that now of course it's in here so it's probably never going to get wet but we didn't want like dust from pdz or anything getting on it so that's why it looks kind of goofy but that's the thermostat that basically talks between the battery and says i want you to give me power when my thermostat gets above and you can see the blue line of text if you're reading it like that the blue line of text is 88 so 88 is what we have as the threshold so in other words this is talking in between the battery and the fan. So, you know, the fan obviously is a simple device and the fan just like, hey man, I just turn on when you give me power. So the fan doesn't have any brains, if that makes sense. So the thermostat is what's telling it, hey, I'm gonna give you power when it goes above 88. And as you can see in there right now, it was 81 point, what did it say, 81.9. So that thermostat is what's doing all the work and then the fan just sits here until power comes from the battery. So those are the five different steps of our solar fan. And of course, if you don't really have temperatures that get in the 90s, then you don't really need to worry about it. And all of my research that I've done, and uh -huh, all of my research that I've done, it's been when temperatures get over 90, that's when there's a problem. Um, and then of course, you don't have to do a solar fan. That's not the only thing that you can do. 
You can also just have the doors open or you can have a fan. If you've been watching my videos for a while and other coop ventilation options and keeping your chickens cool, again, there's the swimming pool, there's ice, there's treats that you can give that are frozen. You can open the doors up. I used to have a gigantic box fan, but the problem with all those things was is I was having to come out and do something. And I know that sounds super lazy, but when you're busy and you've got two young children and they wanna go to the park or we're gonna go on a trip to the beach or whatever, I wanted something else that was sort of doing the thing and the temperature monitoring for me. So in no way does the fan mean I never need to come out here and give my chickens ice and then I can be totally negligent, right? It's the same as the concept with the automatic coop door. It's a convenience and it's a tool to help me, but it's not gonna replace me being just an attentive, caring, observant, chicken tender who's out here every day watching my girls. So I still need to come out and make sure they're not getting too hot and no one's panting while they're laying an egg and all that kind of stuff. But the fan will come on automatically in case you know, I didn't get my weather notifications or I was a dork and I didn't check the weather that morning or whatever the case may be. But we are in the very beginning of May 2020 right now in South Texas and our forecast, we're gonna be up into the high 90s all week um, for probably five, six, seven days. So I'm really glad we've got all of this set up. We have actually ordered a second fan and that's gonna be super simple. We're not gonna really have to buy anything else. It's just gonna hook into the same system here that we've already got going on. So again, you can check out the affiliate links and the specific products. Um, we did not get anything for free, so we're happy to share out what we used. And you are welcome to put more comments and suggestions, questions, all that kind of stuff down in the comments so that we can help keep our chickens cool. The final thing I'll say is again, please, please remember that your chickens, they do fine in the cold weather. They do fine. Um, you know, chickens can, can live just fine out in snowy parts of the world okay they can't pull their feathers off they can't go make themselves a popsicle or a snow cone um, so they need a lot of help in the hot temperatures that's when you have to worry not even about egg production going down or about the you know the productivity of your hens but you have to worry about your your birds dropping dead so i don't play around with hot temperatures i love the summer i love the heat i love south texas but i'm being very very careful and so i don't mind you know putting together this this setup which will last for years that's weatherproof and that's going to help keep our birds cool so i hope this information has been helpful let me know what you think in the comments and thanks as always for watching